Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. The scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed things. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. To us, a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's gonna be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4... ...and a Capture Team helicopter. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. And also, make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. It only does us good if it's operational. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm.
storm has passed. Clear. This is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge, and perhaps, opportunity. Asset transportation in progress. has been delivered. Ooh, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume. So we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Let's go on this. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaurs. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. Really need that a plan. I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. That sort of sounds like a plan. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, Claire, how about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? <laughs> We've got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs. It, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? ...on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. But only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it.
heading to collect the asset. Set in transit. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet, but I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. With so many of the animals running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Owen, you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except the, maybe a new recruit. <laughs> Before the remote capture teams return, we should have source. Think of it as welcoming them back home.
Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. What I'm saying. Only, you said it. Owen? Owen? We have a real problem. I'm trying, Claire, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm... Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, no. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sad? As much as I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So, who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? And our personnel. Yes, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one. Round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then, we'll work on our safety ratings. This good? Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs> Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future? That was something completely different. I wish we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now, other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? 
amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. Dr. Dua, the dinosaurs are still agitated. Tranquilizing them would appear to be the best option at this point. Let's do it as safely and quickly as we can. has key players, <coughs> me, <coughs> it also has key facilities that it needs to run effectively. So you should get started with the construction of an arrival building, a control center, and also a backup generator to supply power. Not bad if I do say so myself, and I guess I am. Your response to this directive should be to... Huh? You see what I did there, huh? <laughs> response, response. <laughs> uh, never mind. Don't respond. Claire, we need to get the dinosaurs into new holding enclosures. The ones we've already captured. Yep, that's right. And we'll want them awake and as comfortable as possible. Requiring collection. Asset collection request received. transit. Transporting asset.
they had dangerous animals here? Correct, Mr. Finch. We know where they were. But now, Mr. Grady, it's essential that we know where they are. I know my dinosaurs. I'd say they're headed off in this direction. And do you know your dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? Better than anyone. But these are not your dinosaurs, per se. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. This looks promising. You know, not that I'm promising anything. Everything points in this direction. Dinosaurs, but they're not subtle. Wherever they go, they leave a mark. Sounds like someone I know. Is it Dr. Malcolm? Because that guy, he is out there. Talk about an ego. Hmm. As opposed to. Well, you know, a certain lovable animal behaviorist whose humility has a charm of its own. I feel like we're getting close. Owen, are you okay? What is happening? A little busy right now. Please tell me you have things under control. Do you want me to lie? If it'll calm my anxiety, yes. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. We have a helicopter standing by, and they'll attempt to tranquilize the animal from the air. Attempt? Attempt? <laughs> we need success, Dr. Dula, before it can eat Grady and the others. Now, please don't say that. You believe in the team, right? You want me to lie? Shot off target. to a secure enclosure for observation and treatment. I'll notify Dr. Dua. Oh, me? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Collecting asset. has commenced. And the herbivores? What about them? As long as they stay away from civilization, leave them in place. They'll survive in the wilderness without our intervention, right? Given time to adapt? Yes, I'd say they will. I guess that's something we're all gonna have to get used to. Having dinosaurs out in the world. Is that you talking, or is that the government? <laughs> I am the government.
I'm going to need a paleomedical facility to assess the status of the dinosaur that they're bringing in. We'll need to do a full medical scan. I want to understand what went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. Sometimes what a problem requires is a new set of eyes. Let's hire a few scientists with the skills to diagnose these animals. Make sure they are competent with the MVU and can perform medical scans on the dinosaurs. I'm interested to see what we can discover. We've hired more scientists oh. for Dr. Dua, so we should have a better handle on the dinosaur's medical status. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out what went wrong. Hey, if I've learned anything, it's that these animals are unpredictable, like people. Oh, with, uh, bigger teeth. Yeah. We should keep an eye on her. Right, right. Uh, who? Dr. Dua? Yes. She's working for the CIA now. Oh, you'll be pleased to know I'm running a little intelligence op of my own. Looking out for the both of us. <laughs> You're a lot more astute than you let on. Smarter, too. Right. Now that we have control of the dinosaur, temporarily, let's get it transported to the Paleo Medical Facility, where we can treat its injuries. Assets in the air. Asset has been transported. En route to collect the asset. Part of the healing process is to get some rest. Preferably someplace comfortable. Always works for me. Same for the dinosaurs, I'd imagine. You imagine correctly. Not according to my ex. Hmm. Yes, moving on then. We want to have the animal transported and then secure and comfortable in its enclosure, if you please. We'd worked to make sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. At first, I believed this was for the best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one-fifth of the total land mass in the U.S. and almost 40% of Canada's wilderness. 
Working together with the DFW and the CIA, we made the dinosaurs feel right at home. In the forest. <sighs> I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Because the dinosaurs definitely do. only way to fly, right? Private. Away from the hubbub of the public. No prying eyes asking wordless questions. I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. The Appalachians have long been a place where people can kind of disappear, whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're gonna have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established. But before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. that will need food and housing. I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built. Then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc? Perfectly.
that transportation underway. I'm not sure I'll ever be fully comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are, so <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. Delivery has been completed. The dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. We need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed. So build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. Lambert here. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. Dr. Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hotspot. I'll do what I can on my end. Okay, the good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams, which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that, I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a 100% win in my book. Now to the bad news. Which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy giving. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease, and we've got to get a handle on it post-haste. That's management speak for PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. Transit has commenced. Asset delivery confirmed. You have to understand something. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised. They deserve a chance at life as much as any other living creature. Honestly, perhaps even more, as the miracle of science gave them a second chance. So, do the research, 
find the cure, and then let's use it. Or the dinosaurs die. Again. And listen, that's not going to happen. Dr. Duo, this is Lambert. I've just received word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts. Can you confirm? Yes, that's correct. We need to grow this facility, which means we need more animals. It's time to stress test our systems and make sure we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes. This will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward.
asset has been collected. Transportation underway. Asset transportation complete. Transportation complete. Transporting asset. Asset transported. Asset has been delivered.
asset in transit. Commencing asset transit. Asset delivered. Confirming asset delivery. Delivery complete. in the air. Asset transportation complete. Okay, okay. We're making progress. But there's always more to be done. For you, anyway. <laughs> Take this next objective, for example. This is what we'd hoped to accomplish on Isla Nublar. A place where the dinosaurs could finally thrive. Minus the volcano. Obviously. That's a pretty big minus. I think we can all be proud of what we've accomplished here. But? But what? I can hear it in your voice. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering what Dua is really up to. I don't buy all her... Saving the future by controlling the past. Talk. Yeah, Lambert mentioned that some of the animals were being moved to an undisclosed location. He wouldn't say, or maybe he didn't know who was taking delivery, but it wasn't the DFW. A third party? And you and I are not invited. reports were from Seattle Tacoma Airport's air traffic control but now we're getting radar hits from Portland International so they're traveling south probably because of the weather agreed they're migrating but 
What happens if one of these animals decides to play chicken with a commercial airliner? This is the modern world and the prehistoric one on a collision course. If Owen and Lambert do what they say they can, we're going to need facilities in place for the flyers when they arrive. Let's start with some Avery domes and a hatchery. Oh, we also need an expedition center. And as you heard, time is not on our side. Ready on this end. We can send out expeditions for remote capture. These creatures can cover a lot of ground from the air, so we should snap to it. All right, let's fly the not-so-friendly skies. We have captured flyers ready to deliver. Have them brought to the aviary hatchery by our transport team. We'll then release them into the domes. And by release, you mean contain? Yes in a controlled environment and under our supervision and care. Excellent. We should be on schedule to deliver assets to the other site. Asset transportation in progress. Delivery has been completed. delivered. Asset transported. Asset has been delivered. Looks like we might be getting things under control. I would say famous last words. But given the number of times that I could have used this very <laughs> phrase over the years, I'm going to go with, uh, quote, predictable, unquote, last words instead. Dr. Malcolm, why are you contacting us? Same thing as always, the dinosaurs. And my obsessive need to 
witness the car crash when it happens. It's good to hear from you again, Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> ah, Dr. Dua, you're now increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of the CIA, if I'm to uh, understand correctly. We do what we can. Yes, yes, we do what we can, and sometimes more than we should. Interesting times, and I mean times as the dinosaurs are living in ours. Should they be here? No. Are they? Yes. Ergo, they should. And the hidden hand of chaos is revealed. It's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment, Doctor. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. And that's why I've brought somebody with me to help shed some light in this regard, Mr. Isaac Clement. Yeah, a specialist of, uh, of the spectacular. Uh, you should be hearing from him soon. These dinosaurs require feeders if they're to stay healthy. Stay on top of it. Hey, I'm Isaac Clement. Dr. Malcolm should have mentioned me earlier. We have some specific requirements, including a ranger team to gather information and monitor the animals within the aviary. A viewing gallery is also on our list. So, now it's on yours. <laughs> hey, Claire. I've been thinking. When you think it makes me nervous. No, no, seriously. Why the flyers? Uh, okay, I'm not following you. Dr. Malcolm starts contacting Dr. Dua from who knows where when these flying reptiles become an issue. Why? Because they introduce a unique danger? And he's concerned? Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Owen. For now, we should make sure the satisfaction levels for the flyers is high. That's verifiable data we can use. Forget the conspiracy angle. Hello? We're chasing prehistoric animals, Claire. Reality ain't what it used to be. <sighs> yeah, you were right, Dr. Malcolm. Uh, it's, it's sort of my thing. The facility is functioning as anticipated. We have enough assets in the pipeline that we should be able to move forward soon. Right now we're putting out brush fires, but this, this is an inferno that could engulf the world. Your concern is noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals. And safety for the DFW staff, of course. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. <sighs> and if we don't, where's that leave us? We will have created an apocalypse born of our arrogance, humanity versus the dinosaurs and... Honestly, I'm not sure who deserves to win. If we want to find success, we must look to the sky. That means more flyers and more species of flyers in the aviaries. Flap, not flop, huh? 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 <laughs> transported. Asset delivery confirmed. Transportation underway. Transportation complete. Commencing asset travel. 
planted. Delivery complete. Asset has been collected. Confirming asset delivery. Asset transportation underway. Asset transportation complete. Asset in transit. Asset delivery confirmed. Transporting asset. Asset delivered. Asset transportation in progress. Asset transported. Asset being transported. Even contrived, planned, and managed beauty has its charms. But what appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature. Its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be. Much like the dinosaurs. Excuse me, Dr. Malcolm. There are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. To my point, chaos, don't you just love it? Yosemite, over 1,000 square miles in size. It is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth, the giant sequoias, which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. That could be our connection. And what's drawing the dinosaurs here? The sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory. Then this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. is already out of the barn. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. <laughs> what Owen means is that things are already in motion. We have dinosaurs that we'll need to capture and facilities that need to be built. Uh, but not actual barns. Barns know expedition center, a paleomedical facility, and a response facility. Yes. <laughs> the host should give us a solid foundation. right side is a little better than my left. Oh, and I'm talking about the dinosaurs. We're gonna want images of the species in Yosemite. Oh, and you're wrong about the right. Okay, I get it now. We can take one of the vehicles and go on a photo expedition. And, yeah, I know, my left is better. You're still here? I'm leaving, but I haven't left. Get it? I'm doing a play out. Oh. Uh... Gone, gone, I'm gone.
so close to their natural habitat. These photographs are like we're not just capturing the dinosaurs, but a moment in time. Which, considering how they got here, feels doubly weird. I think this is as close as we'll ever get to seeing the dinosaurs the way they were 65 million years ago. And it's breathtaking. We need our remote capture teams bringing back the most dangerous dinosaurs. The safety of the public and the dinosaurs are both at stake. I'm your man. And, uh, and I'm your man. I know. Once we have them, we'll get them secured within our new facility. And I know. So be careful.
Transit has commenced. Asset has been delivered. Transportation complete. Asset being transported. Asset has been transported.
Commencing asset transit. Asset in transit. Delivery has been completed. Delivery complete. Transporting asset. Asset delivery confirmed. En route to pick up the asset. Asset delivered. Asset transported. Transit has commenced. Asset has been delivered. Asset has been transported. to pick up the asset. Asset transportation in progress. Transportation underway. Transportation complete. Confirming asset delivery. Asset transportation complete. Delivery has been completed. Asset transportation complete. Signing controls.
map asset. Steps in the air. transportation underway confirming asset delivery Delivery has been completed. Asset to be collected. Acknowledging asset collection request. has been collected. Transporting asset. Transportation complete. Delivery complete. Asset delivered.
Another transportation underway. Asset transported. Asset has been transported. The stakes are as high as they've ever been, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not mistaken. We are on the cusp of achieving a new relationship with the dinosaurs, forging revolutionary ideas because we're able to better understand the past. And boy, do we now. We're trying to put those accidents behind us. Well, if I may, um, there are no accidents, simply undiscovered reasons. Our mistake, humanity's mistake, is believing that we want to know the truth when the lie is more than enough to sustain us. These genetically manufactured dinosaurs, they're as real as we chose to make them. We've manipulated and crossbred dogs and cats and livestock for years. Why? Not for what they need, but for what we want out of the animals. And you think that's what we're doing now? You tell me. Any contact, no matter how slight and reasoned, introduces change. Is that not correct? Dr. Dua, enlighten us. For now, it's what we have to accept. Our job, my job, is to make sure these animals have the best care. As for the rest, let come what may. Yes, yes, how wonderfully uh, uh, chaotic of you. Even on the islands, we never created something this... this... Perfect. Well, considering we can't let them run free, and the dinosaurs will never really know the life they should be living, it's as perfect as can be. I guess... we should be happy. But... are we... happy? Sorta? Okay, something's bothering you, and it's not me. No. So... What gives? This park. This isn't the dinosaur's final stop, is it? No, of course it's not. How could it be? It's too dangerous to have these animals this close to civilization. Where they go, we go. You mean that, Owen? You realize what you're saying? We're a team. I know you, Claire. You won't turn your back on them. Which is a bad idea, by the way. Never, never do that. And neither can I. These animals are a destiny that we can't escape. Not just you and me, everyone. That's something the Earth needs to come to terms with. Yeah, we either make this planet right, or the dinosaurs. They'll make it theirs. Yeah, Yosemite. Huh. From the language of the Miwok tribe, it means... The Valley of the Killers. Fitting, isn't it? The strong prey on the weak. The hunter and the hunted constantly optimizing their size, their appearance, their strength, their vision, their speed. The mind becoming ever better at that one task necessary for survival. Huh. Evolution is a never-ending arms race that continues to this day. That's life. It embraces change. And now dinosaurs have returned to the Valley of the Killers. The question isn't, do they belong in Yosemite? They most certainly do. No, no, the question is, will they stay? <laughs>